Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Mr. Silver War Cam here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a, uh, a little video on how I pack my knapsack. And I just got this for for Christmas, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's get started. So um, I'm going to start with this pouch right here uh, while I put in it. Sorry, this isn't very comfortable to sit like that. Never was able to sit um, crisscross applesauce, so yeah. All right, so let's start with the this this side first. Um, thing that I'd probably first thing I probably put is my uh, my blanket if I can fit that in there, which is very possible that I can. So um, yeah, so I'm not gonna worry about uh, putting that all the way up first. But, uh, so first thing I'd put is my, my blanket, and then the next thing I'd put is my gum blanket, as you can see. So, it kind of fits pretty nicely. And then the, uh, next thing i more than likely put would be my, my plate, as you can see here. Probably put that upside down just like that. And then if I were going to, um, which I, I really don't have to because like I said we have a company cook uh, in my other videos. So I probably wouldn't have to bring this but if I had to, if we were fending for ourselves because there's a few times uh, uh, a year that we actually have to do that. But uh, not too often. I'd probably bring uh, like a pan. Probably smaller one than this. Probably a canteen half. So I probably want to bring this by, I just want to show you guys this as an example, I probably put it like that. But really you don't need this, and especially on campaigning, they probably want to view something like this, it'd be mainly a uh, canteen half, and uh, maybe a plate. So, um, probably want to take this at all. So I'm just going to leave that out. Uh, like I said, canteen half is probably the main thing that you would need. Um... Let's see, the next thing I guess would be my book. Uh, it's just something cool to have to throw on your gum blanket when you're not around and the uh, uh, public can, you know, look at it, kind of see what somebody would have because, you know, they didn't have like video games back in the day, so you, you mainly this was your source of entertainment and uh, knowledge, so a, a book would always be a good thing to have. Or some kind of article, like a uh, Civil War funny or something, or a newspaper maybe, or um, something of that. Uh, but yeah, and also with that, I also have uh, this thing. It's a beginner's guide to Civil War bullets, so that's it's obviously something that you can use. So I probably actually put that underneath my plate. Probably be a good idea. Now the next thing I, I would get is my ration bag. This is mainly what I fill with. I have this uh, like metal, but I also have a wood one, and this is for rolling cartridges. So I think that's pretty useful uh, to use, have in here. Um, also a pencil. Pencil is pretty, pretty nice to have along with uh, a pocket knife. And then a comb. And if I could fit it, I'd fit a bar of soap in there, but I can't just yet. And my pocket watch I would actually carry on me, but since I'm you know, not dressed up right now, and um, we don't have an event for about another four weeks, let's put put that in there. And uh, actually, you don't even need you don't even need a whistle. Uh, as you see, I have a whistle here. You don't really need that because this is a campaign and. I have this, the company gave it to all all their people, it's just a, uh, uh, like a, a dog tag, and I'm just going to put that in there, you sh really you shouldn't have that, but I guess if you do, that's alright. Um, and then, uh, a housewife, but I'll get to that later, I'm not going to put that in, this, this is enough, so, um, 
basically have my little ration bag of like uh, stuff, personal items. Uh, along with that, I probably have another one which I don't have yet uh, with uh, toothbrush, uh, tooth powder, and that's about it. And uh, in that r ration bag, I'd probably also have my uh, like a, like a handkerchief or some kind of wash rag. Time period, of course, but some kind of wash rag. Um, so yeah, I also would carry my housewife, which uh, could go right there, and um, obviously my soap, which is very important, I think, and my wallet because I don't I don't really carry that because it's like huge. I don't really carry that, but uh, in certain situations, I'll I'll just have that. And then also I have my gloves, which you know obviously could be used. And actually, I really like these ones. They fit actually pretty good. And I like it because you have the fingers. Because I'll show you this real quick. Um, thought I had it someplace around here. So. I actually have my cap box with me, as you can see, and, um, well, you can't really see that, and with, if you have gloves, it's really, like, hard to, um, get in to your, your caps, but if you have fingers, if you, like, if you can actually, like, pick up stuff, it's much easier, and you can actually, like, like, get your caps, so that's useful. I wouldn't recommend getting, uh, gloves. Uh, with holes and especially not mittens because obviously you have no fingers so I wouldn't recommend that but uh, that's basically what I got I'm gonna put my gloves on on onto the thing so I'd probably put those right there and that's pretty much done that's pretty much done for my first like layer and uh, yeah so I'll just strap this up. As you can see, it, it fits pretty nice. You can go all the way to the uh, end one on that one. And this one I think is going to be a little bit tougher. But I think I can still, still kind of get it. Let's see how tight we can get that. This fits right in. Now... That's that's pretty much done, and that's all securely in there. Like nothing's really gonna come out from that, so that that's really nice. It's really packed in there pretty well, so nothing's really gonna come out from that. So that's it's great. Um, now, as far as this goes, now I really don't have anything to put in here right now. Um, what I would uh, think you would put in here is. Uh, which I don't have right now. Actually, I can show you what I, what you can. Um, I would say an extra gum blanket in here because, uh, like, um, when it's um, when you are like, I guess, like cold at night, and it's kind of like, uh, like if it's raining. If you put another gum blanket like on top of you, with the gum side up, it kind of, it keeps you dry. So I'd say another gum blanket, uh, some socks, um, uh, an extra t-shirt would be nice to put in here. Uh, if you have cartridge, cartridge, uh, I know uh, Silver Army and actually Channel One makes he he makes those uh like ten rounds. Put a few of those in there. Extra caps. Um, I guess you could put food. I wouldn't re really recommend it because your haversack should be pretty free because everything's pretty much in here. Um, so I would I would say you you, you pretty much have anything extra that you want to put in here. Um, maybe like another blanket, which I have, but I'll get to that in a second. So this is pretty much like free. So we can put that over and. Uh, it's actually pretty filled, and it looks pretty nice. Um, 
Now, the only other thing that you're, you're really missing on this is a blanket on the top. This is what I got here. It's just a, it's just a blanket that I've, I've had, and it's, it's pretty period. And um, I would just roll this up tighter, because as you can see, it's a pretty loose roll. Um, but it's a huge, it's a very big blanket. So I just roll this up tighter, and then um, I didn't actually get any blanket roll straps to go on the top right here. So you can see there's like little little belt loops right there. Uh, I didn't get any blanket rolls, but if you guys have an old uh, canteen, uh, take off the strap or old straps. Take off the strap to that canteen, and it fits like just like a, a blanket uh, roll strap. And uh, I think it's a little bit of a way to save money and still kind of use like a period thing. So it's probably the best idea. Um, yeah, so uh, some things that are missing that go in the front thing. Uh, extra ammo, extra caps. Um, anything else that you might have. Uh, uh, maybe some you know, like a, a couple ration bags. Uh, your silverware should probably go in here. Um, yeah, so anything else that you guys think you guys might have should go in the front pocket. Um, maybe an extra blanket if you guys take three blankets, but I don't really suggest that because it's a lot. Um, well, I guess not because, I mean, I still have this whole front pouch and it's pretty much... Yeah, I don't I don't really have a lot. <laughs> so um yeah, so I'll I'll see you guys later. Uh, this is how I pack my knapsack and uh yeah, so this it's it's not everything because then I also have this thing, but you really shouldn't take this on campaign. Um it's just not like what they probably would have used. But um there you can put your cup on there or but yeah, so it, that's what I got. That's how I pack it. Um, if you guys want to take that uh, advice, you can. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.